Hello everyone. Hope everyone is having a great day so far. My name is Dylan. I will be your instructor for today's all seated rock steady boxing class. Today's class is going to run about 15 minutes. It's going to start with a small warm up. We'll get in a couple different punching sequences. We'll do a bit of strength and then a small stretching component at the end. Um, again, all of today's exercises will be done from a seated position. Um, other equipment you may need is a pair of weights if you have some at home. If not, totally fine. All of our exercises today can be done without weights as well. All right, without further ado, we are going to get started with our warm-up. Our, warm our warm-up is going to, have, going to have three different exercises. All of these exercises are going to be done for one minute each. Take these exercises at your own pace. The goal here is to get our body warm, get our muscles loose, get ready for this workout we're about to crush today. All right, we're gonna get started with our first exercise, which is a march. We're gonna march opposite arm, opposite leg in our chair for one minute. In three, two, one, go. Okay, we're driving our knee as far up towards our chest as we can, keeping that opposite arm and leg motion going. Sitting up as tall as we can in our chairs, taking deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. Again, take all of these exercises at your own pace. Listen to your body, go at a pace that feels good to you. You can match my tempo. You can take these marches faster than me, or you can take them a bit slower than me. We just want to keep moving for the full minute. We got about five more seconds to go here. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome job. All right, our next warm up exercise is going to be a seated power up. We're going to go as low as we can to the ground. We're powering up big, opening up those chest muscles for one minute. In three, two, one, go. Whew. All right. Now the breathing in these power ups, we're breathing in as we go down towards the ground. Big breath out on our way up. We're opening up our chest muscles big as we can. Going as low to the ground as feels comfortable. We have about 20 more seconds to go. Keep up that breathing in through our nose out through our mouth. Final five seconds, three, two, one, rest. All right, our final warm-up exercise for today is going to be seated power twists. So we're marching same arm and leg out. We're coming over and clapping, really utilizing the side of our torso here to help twist our body and clap our hands together. We'll march that leg back in, other arm and leg come out. We're coming over and clapping, bringing that leg back in. We're gonna get started. One minute in three, two, one, go. Make these marches as big as you can. March that leg out wide. Come over and clap together. We're about 25 seconds in, 35 more to go. Final 20 seconds coming up. Keep working at your own pace. Coming up on our final 10. Three, 
three, two, one, rest. All right, go ahead and give your shoulders a quick shrug, shake them out, shake out the legs. We are going to get started with our boxing. So if you have boxing gloves at home, go ahead and get those on. We are going to start with a brief boxing warm up, then we're going to get into some more complex circuits. All right, we're going to get started with our boxing now. Boxing gloves are on if we have them. We are going to start with 30 seconds of ones and twos. These are jabs. We want our elbows close to begin. We're trying to get a full extension of the arm as full as we can make it. 30 seconds in three, two, one, go. One, two, one, two. Keep it going. One, two. For all of our boxing sequences today, I encourage you to count out with your loudest voice along with me. We have 10 more seconds. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two, and rest. Very nice job with those ones and twos. The next boxing sequence that we have is 30 seconds of threes and four, so our hooks. 30 seconds on the clock in three, two, one, go. Three, four, three, four, three. Four, three, four. For these hooks, we want to bring our elbow out and around, making big half circles. We have 10 more seconds to go. Three, four, three, four. Last time, three and four. All right, we are going to do one more small box boxing sequence. Final boxing sequence is going to be 30 seconds of fives and sixes, our uppercuts. We want our elbow starting towards our, near our hip. We're coming up towards our face, keeping our elbow, wrist aligned, palm facing us. 30 seconds on the clock in three, two, one, go. Three, I mean five, six, 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 five, six. Five more seconds. Five, six. Last time. Five, six. All right. Take a quick rest here. Grab water if you need it. Give the shoulders a quick shake. We're going to get into three more. A little bit more complex boxing sequences. All of these sequences are going to be done for one minute each. Again, take all of this boxing at your own pace. You can follow my tempo. You can take these sequences faster than me, or you can take them slower than me. We are going to get started with our first sequence, which is one, three, five, two, four, six for one minute in three, two, one, go. One, three, five, two, four, six. Keep it going. One, three, five, two, four, six. We're making these punches as big as we can and as powerful as we can. One, three, five, two, four, six, one, three, five, two, four, six, 20 seconds left. One, keep up the good work. Three, five, two, four, six, final round, make them as big as you can. Three, Five, two, four, six, and rest. All right, awesome job. Our next boxing sequence is going to be six, five, four, three, two, one for one minute. 
We're gonna get started in three, two, one, go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep up the good work. 30 seconds left. Four, three, two, one, six, five. Four, three, two, one, six, five, four, three, two, one. Final round. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Awesome job. All right, our final punching sequence is going to be one. Two, three, four, five, six for one minute. Again, I encourage you all to count out these punches along with me using our loudest voice. Final round here, starting in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, fifteen seconds left. One, two, three. Four, strong punches here. Five, six, final round. One, make it your best. Two, three, four, five, six, and rest. Very nice job. That concludes our boxing component for today's class. If you have your boxing gloves on, go ahead and take them off. Grab, grab a quick sip of water. We are going to get started with our strength component. If you have weights, you can go ahead and pull those out. I have two dumbbells right here. If you don't have weights at home, that is perfectly fine. All of our exercises today can be done without them. Our first exercise and all of our exercises today are going to be done for 45 seconds. Our first exercise is going to be a chest press. So we're going to start with the weights about an inch or two away from our chest. We're pressing straight forward and bringing them back a little bit over our chest. If you don't have weights at home, just go with your hands, pressing forward and back for 45 seconds. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, go. We're breathing in as we bring those weights in, big breath out as we press out. Awesome job, we're about 20 seconds in, 25 more to go. Take all of these strength exercises at your own pace here. Move at a speed that feels comfortable to you. At any point throughout the strength component, if your arms start to feel tired, feel free to drop your weights and just go body weight. We have three, two, one, and rest. Very nice job, the next thing that we have we are going to be sitting on the edge of our chair. Feet are firm on the ground. We're leaning over slightly, trying to keep as flat of a back as we can. We're gonna do some single arm rowing. So we're gonna row one arm up at a time, keeping our elbow as close to our body as we can. 45 seconds on the clock in three, two, one, go. One weight up at a time. Making sure we're keeping our back as flat as we can and our elbows are staying close to our body. We're 
taking deep breaths in through our nose and out through our mouth. About 20 more seconds to go here. Final 10 seconds here. Keep working hard. Keep working those back muscles. We're getting stronger every second that we're here. Three, two, one, rest. Very nice job with those rows. Our next exercise is going to be a front raise. So our weights are down by our side. We're lifting our arms straight up until they're slightly below our shoulders and then bringing them back down nice, slow and controlled. If your arms are to get tired throughout this exercise, feel free to start doing one arm at a time or drop your weights and just go body weight. Modify to what feels good for you. We're gonna go for 45 seconds in three, two, one, go. We're sitting up tall in our chair, keeping that proper posture keeping up our breathing. We're about halfway through here. Keep working with these front raises. Final 10 seconds here. Keep working hard, building strong upper body today. Three, two, one, rest. Very nice job. We have one more exercise to do today. We are going to work on pronation and supination of the wrists. So we're gonna have our arms straight out in front of us. We're gonna open up our hands. You can do this with weights with our without weights and then turn them back over. Opening up here and closing. 45 seconds in three, two, one, go. This is a challenging exercise and it really works the muscles in our forearms. So again, if the arms have to get tired, feel free to drop your weights down by your side and just go body weight or alternate one hand at a time. We are about 20 seconds in, 25 more to go. Final 10 seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. All right, go ahead and shake up the shoulders. We are going to do some stretching. We are going to start by bringing one arm over across our body, using our other arm to press it in towards our chest. We're gonna hold here for 15 seconds. Three, two, one, switch. Swing those arms out. Let's stretch out the other arm. Three, two, one. Swing those shoulders out one more time. We are going to stretch out our back. Next, we are going to start with both of our hands either on our right hip or on the right side of our chair. We are then going to twist open as far as we can towards our right side. We're gonna hold here for 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Both of our hands are going to go either on our left hip or on the left side of our chair. We're twisting open as far as we can towards our left side, holding here 15 seconds.
We have three, two, one. One more stretch here. We're gonna bring one arm up above our head towards the other side of our body, really utilizing the side of our torso here to help stretch that arm over. Holding here, 15 seconds. We have three, two, one. One arm comes down, other arm comes up and overhead. Again, really utilizing the side of our torso here to help lean that arm over towards the other side of our body. Holding here for about 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. Go ahead and bring that arm down. We're gonna take a couple deep breaths together. We're gonna inhale our arms up. Exhale them down to our sides. Inhale up. Exhale down to our sides. We have three more. We're gonna inhale up. Exhale down towards our sides. Inhale up. Exhale down towards our sides. Last one, inhale up, exhale, clap it down. Awesome job today, way to work hard. Very nice job, it was great working with all of you today. Thank you so much for watching this class. Make sure to stay tuned for what else we have to offer on our virtual format. I will see you all soon, have a great rest of your day. Bye now.